Everybody, Steve here again with another episode of Scooch and Steve. And one of the things that I want to talk to, to you about today is foam rolling. So one thing you guys may not know is that foam rolling is uh, a lot of people in yoga use foam rollers to stretch out. Uh, a lot of people in fitness use it to um, you know, relax their muscles and push their muscles onto it. I'm definitely not uh, a big, like as you can tell from my lingo, not a big fitness type guy. I'd like to think so, but basically foam rollers came from uh, bumpers on cars. That's something you may not know. But basically, in the front and back of a car, you have a foam piece that protects from getting hit, uh, or at least cushion the hit from another car. And essentially, one day, uh, a guy took the foam out of a bumper, and uh, they discovered that it could be used for a comfortable roll. And that's a fact. That is where it started, was from the auto industry, where a simple piece of foam was, uh, they figured that they could use it for something else, and now it's everywhere. Literally, everywhere you look, um, it's it's just pretty much uh, foam roll city. So, Scooch is a big believer in this, as well as me. I can't talk about foam rolls enough. Uh, I got a lot of my buddies doing this uh, because Basically, after a long day of crouching in front of the computer, which I'm sure a lot of our fans do, uh, just because that's like our generation, um, but basically, after a long day, you can roll or sit on your back. I usually sit across this. I'm not going to demo it just because uh, I don't want to embarrass Scooch too much, but basically, I, I lay with my back straight across it like this and it's straight down my back. Uh, super, super good for straightening out my back and especially after being just like hunched over all day on my laptop. Um, really, really valuable. And it's so simple and so useful that people picked it up all over the world and I love the fact that it came from an entirely different industry and now you know, all these yogis and all these great people are using it all over the world when it just came out of a bumper of a car, right? So that's innovation coming from a previous innovation, which I think is, is very cool and how things need to be. Um, so if you guys don't have a foam roller, quick bit of advice, get a large one. Uh, I've had, or we've had smaller ones like uh, pieces, you know, of a certain length, um, and definitely the larger you get, the more you're able to do. Uh, and you know, a lot of people might argue with me in the comments, but I think that um, it, it really comes down to like your size and your ability to use this thing. Uh, there's great videos, great tutorial video videos, other than this one, uh, because I'm not going to demo it. But I just wanted to talk about the history of where it came from and uh, the importance of it in my life and Scooch's life. We use this all the time and it's, it's really pretty, pretty ingrained um, in, our, in our lives and I think you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already. This doesn't mean go tear the bumper off of your car and roll around on the bumper of your car if you were thinking that. Uh, that's not a good idea because uh, it just isn't. So yeah. Don't tear the bumper off of your car, do not, and then uh, go to the store and pick one of these up there at Target, they're everywhere. Um, and I like the softer ones, this one's pretty soft. Some of them are really hard and they crush your back and they're no fun. But highly recommend this guys, go check it out, um, or go check one out, go buy one. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, let me know how you guys use it. And I will see you guys again next week. If you like our reviews, like. If you want to talk more, comment. If you want to see us do more reviews, reviews, talking about things, talking about our lives, uh, subscribe. That's probably our biggest one. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys next week.